Hello and welcome. This is a f the very first video of where I will be comparing iOS 5 versus iOS 1.1 or, you know, iOS 1. I have acquired an original iPhone that has not been updated really at all. It doesn't even have what you know, many of us consider basic stuff like the iTunes Music Store, which debuted in September of 2007. So this is very, very original stuff. And what my goal here is to compare the original operating system to the, the current operating system. And what I'm going to be doing is going through different apps and showing off how those interact, how those work, and different things like that. So it's going to be uh, kind of a comparison of where we have come from. And the original iPhone was very responsive, boots up faster than the current iPhone 4S, and was impressive in many ways. And in many ways, is faster to use, but more limited in its use. They really did nail the, the speed and fluidity of that original iPhone. So without further ado, we're going to start today with two apps. So today, I'm going to be going over the clock app and the ca calculator app. So let's first go into the calculator app because that is a let's just uh, face it it's a cool app and it has changed a bit over the years including an icon change so as you can see the icon has changed from this I guess four button circular thing to this bigger graphical thing that they have now it's more colorful things like that the name has remained the same they are both still calculator but uh yeah, so it has changed. The icon is the, uh, I'd say the most significant change over the years has been to the the calculator app icon. And you can see on the both screens here, I've got an original iPhone with the original icon layout that you could not move. And on the 4S here, I've got that basically mimicked on the new device. And you can see how the icons have updated over the years and how it's just changed a little bit over the years. The screen grab will be a little bit better on the 4S as I have a direct airplay capture versus a camera on the iPhone uh, 1. So with that, let's just jump into the calculator app. And here we are. So the calculator app. So a couple things to note here. First off, the circular interface with the buttons is something that is readily apparent with the original iPhone. All of the buttons are circular. You have, uh, it's kind of hard to make out there, but M plus, M minus, MR, MRC, MRMC, and the division sign up top. That is matched on the I the new iPhone interface, sort of, by having M plus, or MC, M plus, M minus, and MR. So, What's happened with the new iPhone app is the MRMC button got split off into two separate buttons, creating that going for it. The division button got moved to a new line of characters. So you'll notice here you have the numbers 1, 4, and 7, and above that is M plus in the original. The new ones have this nifty thing where it's got another line of buttons. You have C to clear. That has been moved up by the equal sign found in the original one. You have a plus minus, which is a new button entirely not found on the original iPhone. You have the division sign, which was moved from the original top right to right above the 9. Followed by the times, which is the same. Then you'll notice the key keyboard layout is exactly the same throughout the rest of it, except for the bottom row, where it goes from 0 decimal clear on the original so the icon layout has been changed a little bit and overall the color tone is a little bit different as well there's a more of a bluish hue that might not really come across too well in this video but the the the, the zero there is backed by blue versus more of a i'd say a greenish uh uh you know almost white but not quite white look and the font is exactly the same for the zero but it appears the font has changed throughout the button layout. So that's the calculator app. And with the original iPhone, you could not rotate it. On the newest iPhone, and they added this a while back, they've added this cool ability to actually rotate the iPhone. So when you rotate this iPhone, you'll notice it, it expands out quite a bit. You've got the original button layout, 
uh, that uh, that was the same with the rotation. So that original bun layout right there is the same on to the right portion of the app. But if you'll notice, on the left portion of the app, you have all these extra keys. And this is a big change with the iPhone uh, calculator app. So that's just something to note that that was not present originally and is a cool addition that Apple has added over the years. So that is the calculator app and how it has changed from iOS 1 to iOS 5. So with that, let's jump over to the clock app. So the clock app has not changed an icon or name over the years. It's exactly the same. And let's fire these up. So um, what you'll notice right off the bat is overall it's very, very similar. Very similar indeed. And let me boost the brightness here. That may help visualize this for you. The clock app. Let's change the brightness and get into the clock app. And there we go. So what you'll notice right away here is there's parity between the bottom there. So you have world clock, you have regular alarm, you have stopwatch and timer. You'll notice here these icons have not changed. They are exactly the same. Uh, something to note here, the original iPhone, uh, you are able to add new times. So let's add, say, Honolulu. And you're able to add that. This is the original iPhone. You're able to do that. And by editing, you're actually, you were able to move them, it appears. I, I thought that was not the case, but evidently that is in here. So that's not a problem. And it's interesting to know what these original settings had. It had Seal, Los Angeles, New York, and uh, Madrid. I'm not sure if that is the stock order or if that's something new that some user did along the way. But uh, whatever the case, you are able to sort these. And you'll notice right away that everything is the same as far as the interface here. The plus button is the same up top right. The edit button is the same. Roll clock is the same. And even when you move into edit, it re me, uh, retains that same uh, motion there. And you'll even notice the clocks, they're exactly the same. Uh, dark at night in the time as tomorrow, all that kind of stuff. So that is the same right there. The alarm settings here, let's add a new one. And you'll notice, same thing, you are able to edit same way you were before. You are able to add same exact adding screen. You have a repeat, sound, alarm, uh, snooze, and alarm. You will notice a change found here with the toggles. They, in, I, in Apple, in iOS 5, moved from these rectangular ones to these circular toggles that you'll see here on the 4S. And everything else is the same. Same, you know, setting up of alarms. Everything is exactly the same. So that's just something to note there. So alarms, same exact thing here. Let's see what the, 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 the stopwatch. So right off the bat, you'll notice one key thing. There is this little thing up top here where there's zero, 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 zero. So you got zero, 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 zero. And let's just start at the stopwatch here. So you'll notice up there, you've got the, that's what the current lap is. And you'll notice on the original iPhone, on this one here, there's no current lap, but both have lap icons. And if you hit those, there you go. So how has this changed over the years? So in the original iPhone, when you hit lap, that lap got moved down to the bottom with this time, as it does today. What happens then is this gets moved back to a zero. With the current generation of iPhones, that number just keeps on going into infinity and beyond. And it's a, just a different thing where I, I think a better interface that they've evolved just slightly to make it just a fun, fun interface. So that's that. Reset does the same thing there. So the only change there is really the stopwatch. And finally, the timer. Timer looks like it's exactly the same. Yet start in marimba, and that's about it. I mean, so they've added 
the ability to buy tones, things like that. They've added uh, just uh, various numbers of things. One thing to note here is they moved Sleep iPod. They removed that and put Stop Playing. So Stop Playing is changed from Sleep mu- Sleep iPod. In iOS 5, they did remove the music app in, in lieu of a music and and in lieu of the, uh, the iPod app. So it's now called music. So that might be the reasoning why they got rid of that sleep iPod. So there you go. Let's cancel out of that. And that is the clock app. And it seems kind of boring. So with that, let me just dive for one moment into the weather app. Uh, because the weather app, I think it's changed a little bit, not much, but just another app. Let me just take the time to go through that as well as, uh, I think it might be interesting. So right off the bat, you'll notice the weather is the same. It's 73 degrees, same exact icon. And back then they did use, they did use uh, Yahoo for this. So that has not changed. And the overall box that it's shown in has not changed either. You still have the moon with the clouds. So that same animation up top there has not changed. The city is the same exact thing. What else is the same? You have the same as far as times and dates and things like that. The original one, as you can see in the 4S, I've got hourly hourly weather reports up to a certain time. That is not present in the original iPhone. In the original iPhone, you simply had the dates with the weather. And the new one, you have, you know, percent of rain, and you're able to expand out that way. So that's a nice change that has been made over the years. Uh, The original iPhone still had that same uh, high and low and pretty much all the same stuff there. Hitting that icon would indeed open up Yahoo. And something interesting to note here is, let's go back. So one thing to note here is the way it went to Yahoo, it had this nice animation. The original iPhone does not have that. Click it. It just instantly launches it much, I think, faster, but less cool looking, I wouldn't have to say. So original iPhone just immediately launches it. There is no fancy animation to do that. Now, what else has changed? Well, the most one of the coolest things added lately with iOS 5 is local weather. So new to the weather app is local weather. It'll find where you are and give you the weather for your location. Another thing to note is... You cannot, I do not believe, yes, you, let's see. So you cannot move these. Uh, so when you, you go in and try to add a city, you end up hitting I. So let's hit I in both of these. On the current generation, you're able to move these uh, locations. So I can move these, and they will update. On the original iPhone, you cannot do that. What you can do is delete them like you can in the current iPhone. So you're able to delete, and that's the same interface to do that, but there's no way to reorder, which is a big annoyance that they solved later on. Also, in the the latest one, you're able to turn on and off local weather, and just like the original one, you're able to change from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So the big addition here is ability to change uh, where it's at, and let's just add plus to see what happens there. When you add plus, same exact text. Uh, the big dis- the addition here is you'll notice the text is a little different here. So as far as the text, you have at you know at one of the big things it says add location. So add location is in there. One of the things that you will notice as you use an original iPhone is text was used much more back with the first iPhone. You have this huge add location thing up top there. And the photos app I'll get to later, you'll have lots of text in there. It was a largely text-based interface for much of what you did. So that's something just to know. You also notice the text is blue if that comes across right versus black it's a thicker text thicker font versus the current uh, more thin font Uh, i believe it's helvetica but that has changed over the the years i mean that's something that has changed and um, just kind of an interesting thing so i believe that is it as far as the weather app is concerned it has not evolved that much over the years but it has changed 
So let me just dive right into the settings to show you what version we are on as we leave this video, just so you know uh, for your reference. So this iPhone is on iOS 1.0.2, and this iPhone 4S is on iOS 5.1. So there you go, iOS 1.0.2 versus 5.1. So I hope you've enjoyed this very first video of myself comparing iOS 1 to iOS 5. There's a lot to dig in here. A lot of apps, I guess, let's see, 16 apps. But there's a fair amount of apps to dig into. A lot of things to show off. I'm very excited to show you iOS 1 versus what we have today with iOS 5. Thanks for watching. You can visit me at iWakePodcast.com for my daily morning Apple News show, which I'd love to see you guys uh, listen to and uh, follow me there. So thanks for watching it again, and I'll be back for more iOS 1 versus iOS 5 videos. Aloha. <laughs>